there was something about the energy that you guys had, and there was something about the love that this country had for John Belushi that kind of bypassed even the talent. There was some kind of connection. And oh, he I, was America's guest. Yeah, he was. I mean, the great story is is the one where we were shooting the uh, in the Harvey Illinois Mall, and it was about two in the morning, and and we were about to do the scene chasing up and down in the mall, you know, um, inside driving inside the mall, and um, John was nowhere to be found. Couldn't find him anywhere. Where is he? Not in his trailer. Not here. And I'm thinking, what? And I. I sort of, I see the neighborhood and I see a path going through the weeds and one broken street light and I'm thinking, logically, path at least for this. So I follow the path. And I go into the suburban neighborhood and there's one light on in a living room. And I think, I'm just gonna try this one. I go up the steps and I knock on the door and uh, the guy comes to the door, you know, he's like in his pajamas, and, and, and yeah, yeah. I, I said, sir, uh, we're making a movie down here and we're missing one of our actors. Oh, you mean Belushi? I said, my couch. <laughs> yeah, he came in about an hour ago, he raided my fridge and he's, cr he's crashed out. So I said, okay, well, I woke up, John, I said, time to go back to work, and I let him, yeah. he could go anywhere. One time we were driving in, in Boston, and uh, and uh, just this is just after the show, like, was, was Samurai was big and everything, yeah. and uh, and uh, we're driving along, and, and John, we were at a primary school. It was it was at a, uh, a stoplight, you know, and it was four floors of an old primary school, and John could see the kids in there, you know, and he said, watch this. And he got out, and he knocked on the bottom window and started to do that animal house <laughs> dance, and all the kids came to the... Well, and the second floor, the windows open up. The third, the fourth, and by the time we left that stop, like, ah, oh, Johnny, Johnny, yeah, yeah, they were waving all these kids, and they were young kids too, you know, sure. eight, nine, ten, you know. But they knew, they knew, yeah. yeah. So he loved doing that kind of stuff. And that was the relationship that everyone. I mean, here you are, you're his best friend. But any of us would have taken that job. Oh, you know absolutely. what I mean? Any of us. Yeah, every everybody, everybody yeah. loved John, and he yeah. and. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, he was, you know, because he was a classic Illinois alpha male. And yeah. also, you know, a real guy and a real sportsman. He was, you know, all-state football conference champion there, you know. He was a fullback and, you know, he was, a, he was a, 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 you know, into all kinds of things uh, that, that made him an all-American boy. What was the downside of being with somebody that had that much energy and that much drive? Well, no downside at all there. Yeah. Um, you know, the only downside were you know, was the personal behavior, uh, the disease, whatever, you know, the addiction, you know. And that was fed by people who loved him, sure. uh, ironically, you know. Well, yeah. Get him high, you're doing him a favor. Well, you know, you're not right now. Right. So, but that, that's the only, was the only thing wrong with John was, was that, you know. And hey, a, a, a lot of us, all of us maybe have been there once or twice or, yeah. or, or on the brink or, uh, you know. And uh, so, you know, it's, it's human behavior.